Thanks. Okay, if you're still working that's fine, we're going to start on the first one over here. So when we're looking at this problem, of course, the first thing we're doing is parentheses. <coughs> so hopefully on your paper, you did this off to the side, or you did it in your head, or you did something with it, and you wrote 1 plus negative 5, and when we thought about that, we did 1 plus negative 5, 4. Different signs, we're going to get 4? Negative. 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 Oh, negative. And since it's a negative, I'm going to keep it in parentheses. 10 minus negative 4. Negative 2 cubed. Did you make it that far? Yep. Yeah. Good. Next thing we're looking for is any more parentheses. We don't have any. Not that it has more than single numbers in there. Do our exponents. So I'm thinking about just this little part right here. Negative 2 to the third power. Now, does the negative go with the 2 or not? Yes. 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 You start to see that hopefully. It's in the parentheses <coughs> with it. So what this means is negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. That's going to be negative 8. Did you get negative 8? Yeah. So I'll rewrite the whole thing. 10 minus negative 4, negative 8. So far, we've just done the parentheses. We got negative 4 out of this. We did our exponents. We got negative 8 out of this. <coughs> what next? Do we have any multiplication here? Yeah, yeah. negative 4 and negative 8. So I'm not going to change any of these signs yet. I'm going to do just that multiplication. I have 10 minus. How much is negative 4 times negative 8, ladies and gentlemen? 32. Wait, negative or positive? Positive. Positive. Then what else? Sure. So we have 10 minus 32. We're going to go... Negative 22. Negative 22. Show of hands, how many people got that? Good for you guys, that's fantastic. <coughs> if you didn't, if you didn't, I need you to notice where your mistake came from. If it was from here, did your eyes on the board right now? If your mistake came from right here, you're still having trouble changing a minus to a plus negative. If your mistake came from right here, you're mistakenly doing your addition rule. If you got this and got this wrong, your addition rule is off, okay? If you got this right and you got this wrong, your exponents are off. You need to fix that. If you get this right and you get this wrong, that's multiplication. You need to work on that. That's the stuff you need to really look at when you're going through your problems. Don't just say, oops, I got it wrong. Guess I missed that one. Okay? I messed up. I did the exponents first. So that's that's one right, case, so right? The, the same. In this particular case, yeah. it doesn't matter. Yeah. But yeah. Okay, so moving on here. On this example, do we have any parentheses that we're going to need to work on first? Yes. Parentheses. No. Exponents, okay. So exponents, we're going to leave the division alone, we'll leave the subtraction alone, but those exponents we have negative 2 squared. Here's the, the, the big ones we need to work on, are really the even ones, the even powers. Does the negative go with the 2 or not, ladies and gentlemen? Yes. yes. No. What do you think? Yes. Don't know? Yeah, it does. The whole question is, is it in the parentheses or not? Yes. Look at the parentheses. Yeah, is the negative in the parentheses? Yes. Yeah. Then it goes with it. Okay. That's what you look at. You look right here. You guys know what the parentheses are, right? It's, it's these things that look like that. If the negative's inside the parentheses, it's going with that number. If it's not in parentheses, it's not going with that number. That's what you look at. So here, when we do this problem, you are going to get a positive 4 out of that. Not negative 4, you're getting positive 4 out of that thing. So you pause it for because what that means is negative 2 times negative 2. It's going with that number. If you're still not getting, don't worry about it. You will get it eventually. I promise. I promise you will. Next up, what are we going to do? Subtract or divide? Divide. divide. So we're going to get 3 minus 5. 3 minus 5 will change the minus to a plus negative. 3 plus negative 5. Negative 2. Negative 2. That's our answer. Did you get negative 2? Yeah. Perfect. 
Okay, moving on. Now, this next problem is a fun one because if you do it the right way, it comes out nice. If you do it the wrong way, you go, wait a second, I have a fraction. So on this problem, we're going to look for parentheses. There we go. We don't have any parentheses to actually do. We look for our exponents. Now, I'm going to ask you again. Let's all get this one right. Does the negative go with the 2 or not? Yes. yes. It's in the parentheses. Yes, it goes. So we'll have our 8 divided by 4 times 4. We'll leave all that alone. Minus how much? 4. Minus 4. Minus 4. They have 2 squared is? You don't have to. Now, next up, did you do the multiplication or did you do the division? Division. Good. If you did the multiplication, we're out of order. Okay, we need to go from left to right with multiplication and division. So the first step is to do this little part, even though, you know what, your brain, your brain wants to do this, doesn't it? It wants no. to go, oh, times, mine does. I see that, I, I jump immediately to that, I don't know why. Oh, yeah. But this right here is the order that we're supposed to go in. So eight divided by four, what are we getting? Two. Two. We keep going with this, we have our multiplication. Good to go. How many got at least two? Good, fantastic. Okay, like I said, we're going to do one more problem together. I'll give you one to do on your own. After that, we'll talk about evaluation, and then we'll wrap up for today. Okay, so let's get going on this problem. First thing to do, we're going to look for any parentheses. I see some inside of our parentheses. How much are we going to get? Negative I could do the 5 plus negative 7 if you really want to. We have negative 2 out of that. So you're exactly right. We'll have negative 3 squared Ooh. minus 2. Minus negative 9 divided by 3. Okay, we did the negative 2 in there. What's the next thing that we're going to do? Exponents. Are you guys okay on getting the negative 2? No. You're bring down the exponent. Don't you bring the exponent with it? Oh, good. I'm glad you caught that. Otherwise, we made a big, a big mistake there, right? We would have yeah. had no exponent. That would completely change our problem. So we've done the negative 2, but I wanted you to see that that exponent does need to come down with it. Okay, now are we okay with that? Yes. <laughs> Good. So we've done the parentheses. What's our next step? Exponents. You know what? You can do all the exponents at the same time. That's fine. Uh, so yeah. let's go ahead and go through this one by one. The questions, I, they're the same questions every time. Does this negative go with the yes. 3 or not? Yes. Why? Because it's inside the top. So how much is this going to give us? 9. Negative. No. No, positive. 9. Hey, one question. Um, hopefully you're paying attention to this. This question is, is going to be on your test. Or something just like it with maybe like two different numbers. And a lot of people miss this because they forget about this thing right here. They forget that, what does this mean when they're next to each other? Multiply. So whenever you get here, whether it's a positive or a negative, you are going to multiply these two numbers, right? Yeah, correct. Well, how much is this one going to be? Four. 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 So we're going to multiply that. We're not adding that. It's going to be a multiplication problem. Minus negative 9. That's right. The parentheses are next to each other. That's great. Next thing we do, multiply or divide? Multiply. What are we going to have? 36. Uh, 
How about the next thing? What are we going to do? Divide. divide. Cool. Divide. We're going to ignore the rest of it. Just divide negative 9 by 3. 3. Negative 9 divided by 3 is how much? Negative 3. 3? Negative 3. Which one? Negative 3. Negative 3. And lastly, we'll have 36 minus negative 3. What's 36 minus negative 3? 33. I got two different answers there from some people. Why, why 39? I know why. I know why. I'm wondering if you know why. Okay, try that one on your own. I'll be walking around. If you need help, let me know. See lots of good work so far, that's excellent. So here we go. When you're doing this problem, the appropriate thing to do first is, of course, the parentheses. We're going to look at that, do it off to the side, do the 3 minus 7. Any way that you, you'd like to do that, I'd like to see some work on it, but you're going to get negative 4 out of that. The way I